Life is too short not to do what you want, so live it loudly and live it proudly. Guess where I am? I'm in Puerto Rico by myself. My first solo trip, y'all. I'm in Puerto Rico. Flew in yesterday. Had a nice chill day. I'm gonna go to Old San Juan and go look at historical stuff, shop around, eat some good food, enjoy my own company. I'm here for my birthday. Turning 27. I'm so That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've lived a good life and I'm gonna continue to live a good life. So I said, let me bless myself with this, my first solo trip. Hey, house. I'm trying to find somewhere to eat. I honestly should have done more like preparation in terms of like what I'm gonna be doing. And honestly research, I only did a little research cause I didn't believe that I was actually gonna come. Um, I brought my plane ticket here spontaneously. So yeah, <laughs> but here I am walking around Old San Juan trying to find something to eat. This is definitely out of my comfort zone because all these people are looking at me talking to this camera and I'm by myself. Hello. <laughs> yes. How much? Quatro. Okay. Mm, thank you. So this isn't food, but it's a start and it's refreshing. So we're going to go find somewhere to stand. This. Uh, uh. Not a bird pooping on me. I'm disgusted. Okay, y'all. So I got an empanada, chicken, and some freshly squeezed orange juice. Squeeze. Some freshly squeezed orange juice. Look at this. It tastes like I'm drinking an orange. Mm. Wow. Hola. So refreshing. Hello. Hola, buen provecho. I don't speak Spanish. Uh, <coughs> Good lunch. Oh, yes, si, si. Pero se. 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 Español. Español. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. No, it's my music. Oh, yeah. Really? What do you Okay. I have no idea what that man said. None. <laughs> None. Mm -mm -mm. So we are at the San Juan National Historic Site. It's a castle. Don't ask me of what. I don't know. But look at this beautiful view of the Atlantic. I believe that's the Atlantic. <sighs> wow. to stay hydrated a lot of walking the 
it's like 2 p.m. Honestly, I forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> um, I woke up this morning, literally spent the entire morning on the beach, swam, came back to, sh to the shore, and I fell asleep. It felt so good outside under the sun. Got back in the water, came back up here, took a shower, got ready for my day. Um, my phone's charging, so now I'm about to go and get something to eat because I have not eaten today. I kind of got a little down and still feeling a little down. I wanted to go out last night, but I kind of was like a little nervous to go out because, you know, like I'm by myself, like who goes out, you know, clubbing, partying by themselves. But I told myself I'm going to do it today because what the heck? Like who comes to Puerto Rico and sits in their hotel room sad? So like my sister told me before I came here, these people don't know me. I can be whoever I want to be here because they don't know me. So I'm going to be whoever I want to be. Okay. Thank you. see so i think i told you guys i went to the beach decided that i'm going to go out to this place called um but it's called la la placica i'm pretty sure it's the place <laughs> but it's supposed to be this like lit like puerto rican bourbon street type feel so i'm a little nervous to go because it's like what the fuck am i gonna do like you know i'm gonna like, stand around talking you know, to my friends dancing, and I can still dance, of course, but we're just a little nervous because I just don't want to stand there looking awkward, like twiddling my thumbs. But I'm hoping that, like, it's lit. There's like music and dancing in the street. So, I mean, regardless, like, no one's gonna be paying attention to me anyway. So, whatever. 8:36, which is kind of early, but I don't want to be out too late anyways because it's a solo trip, and I just want to be safe. I do have some wine here, and I'd be hanging out on my balcony that has a beautiful view. So. If all else fails, I can just get some food, come back here, drink some wine, and chill out on my balcony. And I know some of you guys be like, that sounds boring. You go to Puerto Rico just to sit. Okay, let me not blabber on, but I was feeling like a little down because I'm like, damn, like I, I felt like I haven't done much, but people, my sister reassured me that I'm on vacation and vacation doesn't have to mean doing something every second. And that's what I'm kind of bad at when it comes to vacation. I like to do stuff every second, so just been trying to just go with the flow and just chill you know like relax so i'm gonna go out i'm not gonna take my camera and film because i don't want to look like a tourist and i don't want to get mugged <laughs> or robbed I feel safe in here like i've gotten a little weird looks from men but you know like that happens everywhere but i haven't felt like endangered or like concerned for my safety so i'll come back and tell you guys how my night goes i do plan on getting some drinks I got a Capri Sun that I'm taking in my little fanny back here, just in case. My lip balm, my ID, my card, and my phone. Bye! So yes, I did end up going out. I went to La Placica, which is the place. It's a really cool place. They have a lot of bars and clubs surrounding it, a lot of dance clubs. People were dancing in the streets, in the clubs. People were drinking on the streets. It's like a, a Puerto Rican bourbon street, they say. And I had a lot of fun. It was a little out of my comfort zone, but the people are nice. And this guy came up to me and was talking to me. I had a nice time. Didn't stay too late. Um, just to make sure you know I was being safe. So this is the next day. Buenos dias! Uh, <laughs> um, today is my birthday. I am 27. Still in Puerto Rico. I have like two days <laughs> here left. And I'm so sad because Puerto Rico definitely has my heart. The people here are so nice. So just happy. So welcoming. It's beautiful. It's beautiful culture here. I am staying in San Juan. Which is like the more like tourist touristy like type place so today i'm going to be driving like two two and a half hours away to explore more of the island but explore more of like the um like local places i want to get a touch i want to get more of a feel for their culture and i i have been able to 
here in San Juan a little, but I feel like because it's a touristy spot, I won't be able to like get the feel of the culture like I would if I like visit, you know, one of these like not touristy spots. <laughs> if that makes sense. Dang. I just put ten dollars in here and it basically did nothing for this tank. I'm tempted to go put more in. I think I'm gonna put ten more dollars in. Yeah. BRB. Okay guys, about an hour and a half later, I finally made it! The drive was beautiful. I got to see so much of the island. It's such a beautiful island. But I'm here. I'm gonna put the name of where I am on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it. It's this colorful city that they painted mur mur murals, murals, there we go. <laughs> it's like really pretty and colorful. Real nice, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so you guys see it's like really colorful, but just wait, it's gonna get even more colorful. How pretty, look at all that. Wow, just beautiful. Okay, if you know me or you just follow me, you know I love to take pictures. So, you know, I wasn't about to come to this beautiful little place and not take some pictures. So, this is how I take pictures by myself. Yeah, I finesse this whole trip. But first, let's put my bun up because it's so hot. Because it's so hot. Alrighty, perfect. Let's get started. So, you want to find a good angle. This angle was okay, but it was too low. It didn't get all of the colorful buildings behind me. So, I took my phone and I went to a higher point. Oh wait, but first there's this cute little cat. Hey, I'm actually allergic to cats. This yeah, cat was cute, cute, but it, yeah, okay, see, it just ran away. Bye kitty. I named him Garfield. Ah! <laughs> I'm sure you can guess why. <laughs> okay, bye kitty. Back to taking pictures. So, I will say this neighborhood was in poverty. I think a lot of Puerto Rico is in poverty, so when you're visiting this island, just make sure to put the money back into the local businesses and just be respectful of the island. And you're probably wondering, like, why don't you just have a tripod? I forgot to bring one, and I wasn't about to spend money on one because I'm a good finesse when it comes to pictures. So if you're like me and you don't want to spend money on a tripod, all you got to do is you can ask somebody to take your picture, but if you don't want somebody stealing your phone because you're in foreign land and you just don't know, which is probably not the best in certain areas. I did have somebody take my picture because... They just look like nice people, so I was like, hey, can you take my picture? And I, you know, they didn't try to steal my phone, but you can always finesse your own pictures. You better just set it up and prop it up on a chair or something. Like these pictures, I propped it up on my shoe, my bag, a brick, like literally anything. All right, people. What's up? What's up? We are in, I think it's pronounced Baccaron. I don't know. I'm going to put the name on the screen because y'all know. My Spanish is just terrible. This is about a 30 minute drive from where I was just at. I'm about to get some food. I'll walk around to these like little like shop thingies and then I'm gonna go to the beach. And then I'll be heading back to San Juan, which is like a two hour drive. So yeah. I've never been on an island before so it's always weird to like go to all these areas and I can see the ocean wherever I go because it's an island and it's surrounded by water. It's hot as balls out here. I'm gonna get my sisters something. Just gotta find out what to get. All right, we're back to taking pictures. This is how I got literally my favorite pictures on this trip. I actually fell into the water trying to get these pictures, but it was totally worth it. Literally propped my phone up on a shoe. And then when I got different angles, I propped it up on a tree root. 
you see that and you just the key to getting good pictures is just to keep moving well I'm, I'm hungry but I thought this place I just came to was gonna have food it's a lot of seafood and I do not I don't eat food seafood because I don't stomach it well actually I don't stomach it at all I'd be sick as a dog I don't know these people are probably looking at me like who should you to? huh <laughs> you want to say hi <laughs> hi <laughs> Bro, that's what I love about this culture here. These people are so nice. They're just so happy. So, I left the beach. I didn't stay there long, maybe an hour, because it was super crowded. Waves make me seasick, like literally just standing in the ocean. We're not really standing, but if I'm like floating in the ocean and I'm going with the waves, it makes me sick. So I only stayed an hour. That and it started to rain. So, yeah. I literally haven't eaten anything today. So I got, I stopped at Polo. Hi, Shabby. Hi, girls. This is what I got to eat. It's like a chicken shish kebab and this yellow rice and peas. Mm hmm. Wait, let's go. I'm so sad. I do not want to go back to where I live. I'm about to come here to this cafe, one of these local cafes to get some breakfast. Come with me. Let's go eat. All right, so this is the little cafe. <sighs> Let's see what they have. Um, not really in the breakfast mood, to be honest. You know the food is about to bust when you see a whole bunch of locals. Ooh, daddy. Look at that. A lot of cheese for my liking, but that's okay. get emotionally <laughs> attached to a place that I've been do you guys get like that cuz I always get like that look a crab look at the crabs they're running from me look at him they're trying to run fast look at him running <laughs> look at him oh, there's so many they're everywhere oh my gosh look at him I didn't even see him, but he was just trying to slowly walk away. I don't want to hurt you guys. I just want to show my YouTube. So you can't get to the beach, at least to here, unless you have like a little thingy. Look at him. Is he asleep? Is he dead? Oh my gosh, he's dead. Are you dead? Hey. Oh my goodness, he's dead. Hey, Mr. Oh God, he's not dead. I, f I lied. Oh my goodness, they scary. I'm such a head ass for doing this, but I've always wanted to do a clip like this, so let me live.
about to leave. Very bittersweet, but I'm definitely ready to get back in my bed. <laughs> so one time for the one time. On this week's episode of Let's See What This Tastes Like, we have this OK Cola Champagne. Oh God. Oh no. Is it the same thing as what I tried yesterday? I'm scared to... Oh, it smells good. That's good. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Mm. Two plain rides later. Okay guys, I am exhausted. Whew. After 12 hours of traveling, I am back. I'm glad that I cleaned my apartment. Literally it was 93 degrees in Puerto Rico. Tell me why it is 33 degrees outside. It's like almost two o'clock AM, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye. If I don't talk to you guys after this, thanks for watching. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I inspired someone to take their own solo trip. Life is too short not to do what you want, so live it loudly and live it proudly. Um, I love you guys all. Peace and love. I am so sleepy. I feel drunk. <laughs> Anyways, blessings to you all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Whoa. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I will see you guys later. Bye.